Okay, what we're going to show you how to do now is to find the bowler's positive axis point using uh, what we call the armadillo, which is a uh, axis point locating tool. All right, so what I did was I took this customer's track and I traced it with my yellow pencil. Now, if you see more than one oil line on the ball, always take the one that's closest to the thumb and fingers. That's the that's the initial axis point that we're looking at first rev off of the bowler's hand. So I made that nice broad yellow line. So now hopefully the camera can pick this up. If you look at the armadillo it has lines that are that are built right into it. So it's clear plastic but it has these lines all over it. So what we want to do, and I'll try to put this so you can see it, we want to find the line that parallels the track line underneath. So if you see the clear plastic lines these do not parallel at this point. So we're going to run it up until it does. And when I just find it right there, it looks like the perfect spot. So if you look at that closely, the yellow line is coming through and it's going right up next to this tracer line. Perfect. So once I find that spot, I'm just going to take my yellow pencil and I'm going to mark it. And that's the bowler's positive axis point. Okay. That's the fastest way to find it. There are other ways you can do it, but this tool is about $65 to $70. That really comes in handy because it saves you a ton of time in finding the spot. Now that we have that spot marked, what does that tell us? We want to find the bowler's positive axis coordinates. Once we know this information, this is going to help us lay out bowling balls for them. So what I'm using now is a ProSect. I'm going to cut the fingers in half and the thumb in half, so this is going to be the center line of the ball. Okay. Now what I need to do is find the middle finger span. So I just put that and I extended it over where the actual full span of the, th of the finger would be. I'm going to come back, I'm going to put zero on the drilled edge of the thumb. And then I measure up and this customer has a four and five eighths span. So half of four and five eighths is two and five sixteenths. So that's going to be the center of this bowler's span. Okay? So there's the we have the center line and the center of the span. Now what we want to do is we want to find from the center of the span where is the positive axis point in the ball. So from the center of the span, I'm going to roll up the inside edge of the prosect. So I make perfect perpendicular lines, put a nice broad yellow line all the way across to the outside edge. I put zero on the midline, swing this rib down so that it parallels right up next to it with zero right there. As you, hopefully you can pick that up. Here's my positive axis point all the way up here and I'm going to draw the vertical axis line of the ball. So this customer is his positive axis point from this point up is three quarters of an inch. So he's, we would call that three quarter up. From the center of the grip over to the vertical axis line, he's five and three eighths. So his positive axis point is five and three eighths over three quarters up. And that's how you find the bowler's positive axis coordinates. You find his positive axis point, trace his track, use the armadillo, find the spot, and then from the center of his span, if you measure over five and three eighths of an inch and measure up three quarters, you will find his positive axis point. That's pretty simple stuff. Once you do it a few times, you'll pick it up. It's not that difficult. Very fast and effective. These points are critical that pro shops you have to understand how to find a bowler's positive access point in order to lay out these new modern bowling balls. So if you have any questions just give us